we are in stationary heaven! What are those? Watch this map. Aloha, it's Katie and I'm in Fukuoka, Japan. Right now I'm going to do some back to school shopping. You guys know I come here every year and I do all my shopping here. Doing it vlog style and you're gonna come with me to shop for back to school supplies. If you're not already part of our family, this is your first time seeing my face. Aloha, I already said that. I'm Katie. Subscribe down below and join our Alohana. We have a lot of other back to school supplies videos coming. Follow me on social media at AlohaKDX. And if you subscribe and turn my notifications on, I give shout outs. Just comment down saying Aloha and whatever message you want to share with our family, and I will feature you like these wonderful people on screen. Also, this video is part of a back to school collab. All of their lovely channels I will link down below. Check them out for more back to school stuff. And without further ado, let's go to Loft. It's a huge department store here in Japan. I absolutely love their stationery. We are in stationary heaven! We're gonna shop for pencils first. Kuru Toga is a really popular one. I mentioned my back to school giveaway, which you guys should enter if you haven't already. Check it out by clicking this card. Supposedly gives you better handwriting because as you write, the lead part spins. I'm gonna look for some nice designs now. Oh my gosh, Dr. Grip jelly pencils. These are so soft. And those are the Kuru Togas. Look at all their mechanical pencils. I don't think they use normal number two pencils anymore here. Look at all these markers and highlighters. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. They have highlighter pencils. These are the ones I used last year. They were so good and recommended by my friend. I would recommend these if you ever come to Japan. They're double-sided highlighted. The colors are so unique. They're like pastel. There's even mixed. It's like after you choose the highlighter type, you have to choose all the colors. Oh my gosh. Right now I'm looking at scissors and those are so cool. They're not like the normal ones where you actually have to press it. When you pull the scissor out from the case, it automatically just pops into this position so that when you try to close it, there's like a force. I hope that makes sense. This place is huge. I'm only shopping for pens now. Oh my gosh, bless. These pens work on white and black paper. Either I've been living in a rock or they are pure genius. Here, just look at the back. It's so helpful if you have a book and you need to mark a kind of theme about love and pink. You also have a white space where you can write notes about it. Pencil cases! I love these pencil cases so much. They're standing pencil cases. There's a zipper. Open it and watch this magic. You can open it and set it up on your table with your pens here popping out. What are those? I can't get over this croc pencil case. Water bottle pencil case. I just found a pillow notebook, like that girl is doing. The best lead, I almost missed it at the bottom. I love 0.54B because it's so dark. An hour later. Aloha! Shopping day two here at Muji. We're at the stationery section. It's much smaller, just like a little booth. But I always buy my whiteout and rulers here. So there's a nice platform. And it's literally the perfect height for me. Ooh, this is my favorite whiteout. It's liquid and then it dries really quickly. My favorite ruler, it's just a clear transparent one and then you can open it up so it becomes even longer and sometimes you can even work as a protractor. There's an angle thing. This is more of a little throwback thing but this glue, I used to just put it on my nails all the time and rip them off after they dried. Come on, I'm sure you guys have done this too. I need to try these. Aloha! 
haul, so part three of this haul. Now it's finally a sit down kind. If you follow me on social media at Aloha KDX, which you should, you would know that I was actually in New York and San Francisco before I went to Japan. So I actually bought some stuff at Target beforehand. And if you haven't already, go join my back to school giveaway right now. It ends July 26th. There's gonna be three winners. You get Japanese stationery, like the ones I showed you, or Japanese snacks, which are delicious. So go, I'll link in my description. First thing I got was this huge dry erase board that comes with a marker. And along with that, I also bought colored whiteboard markers. I also bought these little post-it notes. I used these for my summer reading and I already finished my summer reading. I read 1984 and look at all those stickies. Give this video a thumbs up or comment down below if you want me to do an updated top 10 favorite books or stories because I haven't done one in a while and a lot of you guys seem to like it. Then at Target, I bought stuff for my friend, Raya. This huge, it's wider than usual striped binder. Design is like this. I also got two packs of college jewel paper. One of them is lined and the other one is graphic paper. I just thought I'd include it in the haul anyway. That's it for this back to school supplies haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up for more back to school videos and subscribe down below for more videos I upload every weekend. I did a cover on my channel. <laughs> I, I can't believe I did it, but you guys should check that out. Follow me on social media and scan my Snapchat on your right. Click the top right eye to watch more of my videos. See you real soon with another new video. Love you to paradise and back. Bye, guys.